Hello, my name is Marek Connell and today I'm going to speak to you about education. So question number one, what was school like for your parents? Is it very different from the education you have received or are receiving? I don't really remember speaking to my dad about that. I know my dad probably went to college. I'm not sure if he went to university. And my mum, I think she went to university. I'm not sure if she finished. But I would imagine that education was a lot stricter during my mum's time and my dad's time. I know that back in those days they had the cane. Um, so if you did something bad in class, they would bring you to the front of the class and get the cane out and hit you on your on this side of your hand and you'd probably be crying at the end of it. I'm not entirely sure about what education is like in public schools nowadays, in normal public schools or state schools, because public schools are private schools in, in Britain. But I think obviously technology is something that wasn't prevalent during my parents' schooling. I think nowadays education is a lot more technology based. There are a lot more resources to provide practical experience and the internet has changed everything. When I was at school, I remember at secondary school, they offered computer classes and I remember thinking, why would anybody want to do computer classes? And wow, computers and the internet have completely taken over. Number two, what was your favourite subject at school? Why? Was there any subject you hate or hated? So at school, I would have to say my favourite subject was design, graphic design more specifically. And actually, I did really enjoy design technology, CDT, craft design technology. And I really enjoyed them because, I mean, that's what I ended up doing. I ended up doing a degree in design and working in design for a period of time. And I think a lot of the stuff that I do nowadays is greatly based on graphic design. Any subject that I hated, it's difficult for me to think about any subjects that I hated. I probably thought that religion, RE, religious education was probably a waste of time. I don't really remember enjoying that. Maths, geography, history. I liked history. That was really interesting. Uh, that was a real eye-opener into things that have happened in the past. Yeah, the only subject that springs to mind that I didn't really enjoy is religion. Now, I wouldn't go as far as to say I hated it, but I probably enjoyed it the least. Do you think physical education is important? Why or why not? I think it's hugely important. In places like America and Britain, obesity is becoming a, a huge problem. And it's ironic because most schools nowadays, shouldn't say most, but many schools are selling off their playgrounds and the playgrounds are being converted into parking spaces and children no longer have a place to play in a physical way and also technology has a role to play in this problem as well because children probably are more interested in checking their snapchat or facebook instead of actually playing i remember when i had pe classes at school you know some people enjoyed it but some people were bored by it and i remember coming to school before school started early in the morning to play basketball or to play football and i'd play during the lunch break as well so i think physical education is important in my opinion i i consider schools should prioritize keeping playgrounds for children to have a place to physically exert themselves. Are there any subjects that you miss in today's school system? Cooking, sewing, Latin, philosophy, uh, cooking classes actually. I remember doing cooking classes, they were quite good. I learned how to make spaghetti bolognese there, apple crumble. I never had sewing, but I think that would have been interesting because I, I sometimes do some sewing. Latin, is it really useful? Obviously we don't really use it directly nowadays, but a lot of current language stems from Latin. Philosophy, I, I didn't have philosophy. I, I would have loved to have had uh, philosophy classes. Specifically, classes that I miss. I think I miss... I don't know. I don't really know if this is referring to if I miss... It's a bit difficult because I'm not going to school at the moment, so I don't know what kind of subjects are being taught. But if I had to talk about a subject that I miss, I would maybe say design or drama. You know, I didn't choose drama as my main subject at secondary school. I wish I did. Moving on strange question but i tried to blag my way through it what are the good and bad points of education nowadays i don't really have many good comments about education nowadays i think technology is taking over and i'm not really seeing current education embrace technology in an intuitive way that makes education a lot smoother for students good points technology is entering education slowly but surely 
Well, actually, a bad point, especially in Spain, is that in state schools, many classes have around 30 students. And I think it's impossible to teach 30 students anything in detail. Good points. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. If we think about university education, back in my day and definitely during my parents' time, university education was totally free. And now it's become a business. And in some ways, maybe that's good because it means that maybe people who are serious about studying go to university. But obviously, at the same time, it alienates a lot of other people who want to go to university but might not be in a financial position to go. Number six, are computers going to replace books and notebooks? Why or why not? I don't know, maybe not in my lifetime, but I think people are definitely reading less books. A lot of bookshops around the world have gone bankrupt. Borders was one of the most famous book chains in Britain. And after the iPad, after the Kindle, after Amazon emerged, they started to, to disappear. I think people are always going to love books though. Me personally, I have very few books. My girlfriend has quite a few. I'm just looking at the shelves. I think there's a love-hate relationship with books for me because physical books are a lot easier to navigate, a lot easier to, to bookmark as well. Whereas digital books are a lot easier to carry because obviously you can have 500, the sky's the limit really. You can have as many books as you want on your computer or on your tablet in this case. And it doesn't weigh anything but at the same time sometimes you're spoilt for choice when you have so many options to read you don't know where to start and also it's difficult to sometimes visualize what books you have on on a tablet as opposed to seeing the physical books but I think we live in a society nowadays where we like to travel we like to read when we're traveling and I think innovations in technology are going to make it easier for us to read in a digital format than in a physical format so maybe yeah one day computers and digital technology will replace books and things like that. Okay guys, so that's the end of another intermediate monologue from 2010. I hope you got some useful information out of it and some inspiration for answering this type of topic yourself. And if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like it. If you have any comments about good and bad points of education, please put them in the comments below. Keep practicing, good luck with your exams, and I'll see you in the next video.